Baba katika jina la Yesu Kristo tunakushukuru tunasema ni asante siku ya leo ni asante baba yangu kwa wakati huu na nafasi hii ambayo nimepata kushiriki neno na watu wako ninaposhiriki neno hili bwana ninajua bila nguvu zako siwezi kwenda kwamba kwa mkono wako Mungu umenibariki na utaweza pia kubariki watu wako kwa ajili ya sifa na utukufu wako. Na tunapoenda kushiriki neno lako baba wetu tunaomba ukatuondolee dhambi. Kwa sababu Mungu neno lako linasema kwamba unakaa katika utakatifu. Ninaomba Mungu katufanye watakatifu mbele zako kwa sababu tunakuhitaji katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Ukatusamee Bwana na ukatutakase na ukafanye nafsi zetu zikuwe upya mara tena. Ni asante Bwana kwa sababu ya wote ambao wameshiriki katika ibada ya leo. Kwamba Mungu atakapokuwa akitoka katika ibada hii Mungu utawaonekania. Utakutana na wao katika mahitaji yao hata katika neno lako ambalo ninaenda kunena. Acha Mungu kanene nami ili nikaweze kunena na kila mmoja wetu hata mimi binafsi na ni katika jina la Yesu Kristo naomba na kuamini. Amen. Sumpigie Yesu makofi. Asanteni sana. Thank you, thank you praise and worship. May God bless you. Mungu abariki sana. Munaweza keti. Um Mimi naitwa Michael. Ninaenda kushiriki neno uh, siku ya leo. Kwanza nataka kuanza kwa kushukuru mchungaji wetu uh, Pastor Charles Mutua ambaye amenipatia nafasi ili niweze kushiriki neno siku ya leo. Ningetaka pia kushukuru Pastor Ndegwa ambaye ni msaindizi wake, viongozi wa kanisa and all the ministers. I want to thank you. I also want to thank uh, wale ambao mmekuja siku ya leo kwa sababu isipokuwa ni nyinyi even ministers awange kuwa na uh, watu wa ku minister tu so thank you very much we want to bless the lord uh, kusimama hapa mbele yenu uh, siku ya leo ni huruma za bwana na ni kwa mkono wake na kwa hivyo uh, tunasema hivyo kwa sababu tunajua tumepitia nchi yetu na dunia imeweza kupitia um, a uh, janga ambalo lilikuwa linatisha lakini kwa huruma za Mwenyezi Mungu kwa mkono wake mwenye nguvu hakuna mmoja wetu hajarejea kanisani Bwana Yesu asifiwe hatujasikia kwamba tumepoteza mmoja wetu na tunajua kuna mahali kwingi duniani watu waliweza kupoteza maisha lakini sisi Mungu ametuhifadhi ametuwezesha situmpigie Mungu makofi Asante sana uh, uh, leo ninataka kushiriki nanyi um, kutoka um, uh, yale ambayo tulianza nayo mwaka ulipoanza this is uh, uh, September and I know from the time we started in January I know our um, Uh, uh, our god spoke to this church uh, through our pastors and our senior pastor na akatupatia malengo ya mwaka huu sijui nani anaweza kubuka uh, what do we say about this year at the beginning of the year tulisema uh, tuliambiwa huu ni mwaka wa nini mwaka wa kudhihirishwa ama pia mwaka wa kudhihirika bwana yesu asifiwe i know because of what we had gone through kuna watu pengine walifika mahali wakapoteza matumaini wakasema sasa tulikuwa tunadhihirishwa nini bwana yesu asifiwe na siku ya leo ningetaka tuweze kuchunguza kiwango cha kudhihirika ambacho tumefikia mpaka wakati ambapo tumefika tuone ni nini kimedhihirika ndani yetu kwa sababu in one way or another something has been manifested in us bwana yesu asifiwe and to do that i will be uh, i'll be sharing something that um, uh, uh, came to my heart 
last week when our pastor was sharing in the first service about, um, uh, he, he preached more about the issue of being tested. And um, although I will take uh, a diversion, uh, I, I will have a different approach to that. Uh, the, the kind of direction that God has given me. Uh, I want us to, uh, to listen to this because it blessed my heart. And I know, pia wewe, itaeza kukubariki. Tusome katika kitabu cha Madhayo, uh, uh, moja. Uh, Madhayo ne. Madhayo ne. Um, kwanzia um, mstari wa kwanza. You can put in English. Um, Matthew 4. Yeah, um, then Jesus was led up by the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. Next. And when he had fasted 40 days and 40 nights, afterward, he was hungry. Now, when the tempter came to him, he said, number one, if you are the son of God. Command these stones so that they become bread. If you are the son of God, command these stones so that they become bread. It means if you cannot command these stones to become bread, then you are not the son of God. That is actually what the devil meant. Let's continue. But he answered and said, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. Then the devil took him up into the holy city set him on the pinnacle of the temple. And he said to him again, if you are the son of God, throw yourself down. For it is written, you see the devil is very clever. He now knew ya kwanza umekatana na the first temptation kwa sababu umelete maandiko. Sasa hapa ninakuja na maandiko pia ni kuambie kama wewe ni mwana wa mungu. Jiangushe kutoka hapa. Kwa sababu imeandikwa, it is written. He shall give his angels charge over you. And in their hands they shall bear you up. Lest you dash your foot against a stone. Yesu wakasema hivi. Jesus said to him. It is also written, again, you shall not tempt the Lord your God. Again, the devil took him up on an exceedingly high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and their glory. Kindly note this. Alionyeshwa falme zote za dunia na mambo yote ambayo yanaleta utakatifu wa dunia ikiwa kuna kitu kama hiyo the glorious things of the world na akamwambia all these things i will give you if you will fall down and worship me this was a temptation haya yalikuwa majaribu ambayo ukisoma vizuri utasikia utakuta ni majaribu ambayo yalijaribu moyo wake Na, 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 na ile tamaa ya vitu vya dunia the last of the things of this world if you look at the first temptation you realize Jesus he was tested about the last of the body aliweza kujaribiwa ile tamaa ya mwili kutaka chakula kwa sababu alikuwa amefunga uh, siku 40 na alikuwa na jaa 
na shetani akajua kwa sababu saa hii mwili ni wiki nitamjaribu ili nione kama hiyo tamaa itaweza ku overcome the spiritual him bwana yesu asifiwe na ukiangalia the second temptation ilikuwa inamtest ile tunaita ego kule kuji uh, uh, sijui kwa Kiswahili tutaita uh, aje pastor ndegwa hiyo ego kule kujisikia kama vile mtoto anajisikia na baba yake hmm? huyu unajua kuna wakati uh, yule msichana wangu anaangalia aliangalia movie nyingine inaitwa ya Jackie Chan sawa alafu akakuja akaniambia ninajua Jackie Chan hawezi kukupiga naona kwa hivyo akona akona ile confidence na mimi kwamba Jackie Chan anaweza piga watu kwa movie lakini hawezi piga baba lakini kuna kule kuna kujanga na ile kiburi na dicho kilikuwa kina jaribiwa ndani ya Yesu Kristo. Yesu Kristo anajua ni mwana wa Mungu. Alikuwa anatakikana ajigambe na Mungu baba yake. Of which it is not right. And Jesus was quick kuambia huyu shetani e, imeandikwa ustahili kujaribu Mungu baba yako ama Mwenyezi Mungu kama vile msichana wangu angekuja niambie sasa unajua kuna mtu hapa nje amenipiga i think mmeweza kuona hizo video e, mtoto anapigwa alafu anapigwa na mtu wa miramba minne alafu anakuja anaambia baba yake alafu baba yake anasema nao e, ni nani amekupiga twende tumuone na baba yake ni muramba ngapi <laughs> anaenda anakuta miramba minne anamwambia ni nani alikuwa anakupiga huyu huyu eh angekupiga sana angekupiga sana e, amefanya vizuri kukupiga lakini alikuwa anajigamba now that kind of a situation god does not want that kind of a thing with his believers bwana yesu asifiwe na kwa sababu ya hiyo ninaelekea wapi Mungu wetu na the reason as why nilisema ni mambo ya kudhihirika wakati huu kumekuwa uh, na mambo ya corona kuanzia mwezi wa tatu. mpaka mahali tumefikia ilifika mahali zote tukaenda nyumbani wakati tulienda nyumbani na uh, i want us to understand this ni kama na ninakumbuka kuna wakati mchungaji wetu mtua aliweza kuweka uh, katika social media akasema wakati huu tuko nyumbani dio Ukristo wako kamili utaweza kudhihirika. Kwa sababu uko nyumbani, mchungaji hayuko na wewe, hauko na ushirika na wengine. Uko nyumbani wewe na, na, na wewe peke yako ama uko na wewe na familia yako. Kwa hivyo sasa Ukristo wako utaweza kudhihirishwa. Uh, So ni kama tulikuwa tunafanya ni kama Mungu aliamua kufanya kitu kama ile inaitangwa auditing. Auditing ni kuja kuangalia huyu mtu anaweza fanya nini wakati kuna mambo yameondolewa katika maisha yake. Alafu kuanzia mwezi wa tatu. Acha watu waanguke. Acha watu waache maombi. Acha watu wakusahau. Sijui kama niliita Mr. Laboso kumjulia hali sidhani nilimuita ushirika ukaisha sikuweza kuita fadhili kumjulia hali yake ushirika ukaisha na wakati tulikuwa tunarudi um, uh, tuna um, serikali inarudisha ibada nikaweza kujiuliza yes afta kupitia hayo yote miezi kama ine imepita nilidumisha ushirika kweli uh, of course no uh, ikiwa hii ni chungu sana hii ni chungu na unajua nilikuwa nilikuwa nimetayarisha another sermon jana which was sweeter to me also alafu asubuhi wakati niliamka kuomba eh nikabadilishiwa 
and ninakuambia kitu ambayo imeniuma iliniuma hata mimi nikaria rais eh, okay wakati tulienda nyumbani nikamaliza ushirika uliendelea kutoa sandaka whisper in yourself what happened uliendelea kutoa fungu la kumi. if god was auditing us uliendelea na maombi ambayo ulikuwa unaomba ama maombi yaliisha ikiwa mlikuwa mnakuja hapa kuomba kila uh, Thursday kama praise worship muliendelea na maombi ama yaliisha kwanza corona ipite unaona that kind of a thing now mungu wakati in, kwa katika kila kitu kina, katika ile hali ya kuchunguza tunaita auditing kuna vitu ambavyo unakuta zin, zinaitwa conformities conformities ni yale ambayo tumeweza kutimiza katika wakati huu ambayo ilikuwa tunatarajiwa tutimize kuna, ya, kuna yale ambayo Mungu alitarajia tutimize na hatukutimiza hayo yanaitwa non conformities na kwa sababu ya hayo kama wakristo tunasaili kujichuguza wakati huu ili turudi kwa ushirika wa Mungu tujue ni mambo yapi ambayo tuliacha na Mungu alitarajia tufanye kwa sababu ikiwa hatukufanya hiyo ndio inaitwa non conformity na ini non conformity lazima ikuwe na corrective action hapo ndipo tulipo kwa sababu Mwenyezi Mungu anatarajia tuweze kumrejea na ninataka kukuonyesha katika uh, 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 um, matukio matatu katika Biblia mahali watu waliweza kutoka nje ya Mungu na vile walifanya kwa sababu ninajua in one way or another nikisema tuinue mkono kuna watu tulipoteza jia moja au nyingine hakuna mtu aku record na conformity na si, kuna na conformity mara mbili kuna conformity inaitwa major unaona kama kuacha maombi hiyo ni major na conformity kuacha kutoa sadaka ni major na conformity kuacha kutoa fungu la kumi ni major na conformity kuacha ushirika ni major na conformity lakini kuna minor na conformity kama kukataa kuoga hivi uh, mara, mara kadhaa unaona wanaume tuko hapa haleluya hiyo <laughs> ni hiyo ni maina kwa sababu hata Mungu um, apendi uchafu si ndio <laughs> yeah so hiyo ndio ninataka tujue siku ya leo na ndio Mungu aliniambia ningetaka kwanza wewe mimi <laughs> nijue ni wapi nilikosea ili ninaporudi katika ushirika huu tumerudi wakati tutatoa, tutakuwa tumetoa barakoa barakoa sio meski barakoa sasa tutarejea katika ule upendo wa kwanza na Mwenyezi Mungu kwa sababu Mungu wetu ni mwenye huruma Mungu wetu ni mwenye uh, 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 ni mwenye huruma nyingi ni mwenye fadhili nyingi na anataka turejee kwake wakati tumepotea jia ninasema hivyo nikijua sisi ni wanadamu hatusimami hapa kuhubiri kwa sababu sisi hatuna hatuna weaknesses ananafikiria pasta mutua na pasta ndegwa wamesema mara nyingi kusimama hapa uhubiri haimaanishi hautendi dhambi haimaanishi ya uanguki nataka kukuambia hivi sometimes pasta mutua ananiita ananiambia ni wewe unaenda kuhubiri na juuliza ngai <laughs> ni yeye ama ni Mungu unajua kuna ile lakini ninakumbuka kwamba katika udhaifu wetu Mungu anatutumia Bwana Yesu asifiwe unaamuka unakuta hii ni siku ya Jumapili ninastahili kuenda kanisani lakini unajiuliza mimi kweli nitakumbalika mimi naenda kuhudumu katika praise and worship mimi ninaenda kuhudumiwa ninaenda kuhudumu kama uh, mkaribishaji wa watu Uh, the, the, the asha ni mimi kweli do i fit in that lakini nataka tus, uh, tusome katika biblia kwa sababu mifano ambayo iko katika biblia ni yetu sisi kama wakristo tuweze kujichunguza na kujua jinsi ya kurudi 
katika barabara ambayo tumepotea bwana yesu asifiwe and now because of that i am strengthened because in christ i have a hope even after falling praise god so i want us to see now uh, the what i call the corrective actions what do we do with the nonconformities that we have acha tusome katika kitabu cha madhayo 17 kuanzia mstari wa 14 this was a test of inheritance the test of the power of god wa wanafunzi wa kristo siku moja almeishi na wao amekaa na wao akifanya miujiza akiponya akifufua alafu siku moja wakakutwa na kila kitu alikuwa anafanya kila siku na yeye hakuwa kama vile sasa sisi tulienda nyumbani sisemi Mungu wako alikuwa lakini sasa itatofautisha tunafanyanga haya mambo kwa sababu ya wanandamu ama kwa sababu ya Mungu and when they had come to the multitude a man came to him kneeling down to him and saying lord have mercy on my son for he is an epileptic and suffers severely for he often falls into the fire and often into the water so i brought him to your disciples but they could not cure him Then Jesus answered and said, "O oh, faithless and perverse generation, how long shall I be with you? How long shall I bear with you? Bring him here." And uh, at Jesus rebuked the demon and it came out of him and the child was cured from that very hour. And the later Then the disciples came to Jesus Point number one. Wakati wanafunzi wa Kristo wali realize kuna kitu hawakuwa nacho. Kuna makosa ilikuwa imefanyika. Kuna upunguvu walikuwa nao ambao wangestahili kuwa nao. Walifanya nini? They went privately to Jesus and said, "Kwa nini hatungeweza kufukuza hii daimono <laughs> Kwa nini hatungeweza kutoa hili pepo privately Kwa hivyo wakati kama huu we are supposed to first of all to admit our point number one. You are supposed to admit first of all that there has been kuna ule upunguvu tumekuwa nao uh, na tuendee Mungu tumuulize Mungu mimi kama mtoto wako kama nimeokoka kwa nini sikuwa na web kwa nini sikuwa na neema ya kutoa wakati tulikuwa nyumbani kwa nini sikuwa na neema ya kuomba wakati tulikuwa nyumbani kwa nini sikupata neema ya kuwa na ushirika hata nikiwa nyumbani o oh, watu kulikuwa tu ungeenda kwa watu lakini ulikuwa whatsapp kila wakati ulikuwa facebook kila wakati nilipotezea ushirika wapi na hapo ndipo tunajua Mwenyezi Mungu ambaye ni baba yetu anataka tuende kwake kupeleka udhaifu wetu na tumuulize na wakati walimuuliza aliwapatia jibu ukiangalia mara ya kwanza aliwakuta aliwakemea akawaambia nyinyi ni wenye upunguvu wa imani lakini wakati walienda kumuuliza aliwaambia aje Jesus said to them you were not able to cast that uh, spirit out because of your unbelief for assuredly i tell to you i say to you if you have faith as a mustard seed you will say to this mountain move from here to there and it will move and nothing will be impossible with you na ninataka kukuambia kutoka wakati huo hata wakati Yesu aliwacha watumwa wake walifuata mwelekeo huo 
na hakuna pepo iliwashinda bwana yesu asifiwe hivyo ndivyo tulivyo hata leo wakati tunasema kuna tuna, tunajaribu kuangalia ni mambo gani tuliweza kuanguka wakati tulikuwa nyumbani by the way hiyo ndio ninaongea kuanzia machi mpaka leo hapo ndipo ninaongea hapo kwa sababu ni kuenda kwa Mungu kumuuliza baba kwa nini nili neema ya kutoa ilienda wapi neema ya kuomba ilienda wapi neema ya ushirika ilienda wapi neema ya kufunga kukula ilienda wapi I know I know on average Kenya has weighted as under weight Kenya imeongeza weight hata mimi <laughs> Neema ilienda wapi Kwa nini na Mungu ataweza kutusikiliza Point number 2 Acha tusome John 21 1 Ninaenda kumaliza. Uh, nilikuwa tu na pointi tatu. So ya kwanza nimemaliza. John 21 verse 1. Yohana. After these things Jesus showed himself again to the disciples at the sea of Tiberias. And in his in this way he showed himself Simon Peter hapa ni wakati Yesu alikuwa amefufuka ame, ame na sasa wanafunzi wake wameachwa bila yeye sasa angalia venye wana BF angalia the rock nataka usikie venye the rock the rock upon which the church was to be built venye anasema Simon Peter Thomas called the twin Nathaniel of um, Cana in Galilee the sons of Zebedee Zib, and two others of the disciples were together peter said to them i'm going back to fishing ninaenda kufua tena yesu ameenda ayuko tena i'm going back to fishing and then because he was he was like their leader even when jesus was alive he said we are also going with you they went out and immediately got into the boat And that night angalia they caught nothing so there is nothing we gain by deviating from the doctrine of salvation we are not going to gain anything by leaving the doctrine of salvation kuacha maombi kwetu it results to nothing and you can tell me if you left prayer you can tell me you felt weaker I don't want to ask anyone. I can assure you if you left the communion ikiwa uliacha ushirika na kuambia wakati tumekuja kukutana hapa tunaonana kama wageni. Eh? Huyu ni fulani. Oh, how are you? I've missed you. Eh? Brother Moli, how are you? Ni corona. Corona gani? Ni ushirika uliisha hivyo ndivyo tunastahili kusema na ninasema hivyo mimi kiniuma kwa sababu hata mimi mwenyewe kwa mbele ya Mwenyezi Mungu na Mungu anisamee ushirika yenyewe niliacha na inafika mahali niulize Mungu kwa nini ushirika uliacha kwa sababu pengine ushirika pengine ninaona ni weakness siku anafanya pengine kwa sababu ya neema ya Mungu kwa sababu tunastahili kufanya ushirika kwa sababu ya upendo wa Mungu lakini wakati tumeacha ushirika inamaanisha we need a corrective action kuambia Mungu Mungu we need a second touch Bwana Yesu asifiwe Simon Peter akasema hivyo hawakushika kitu Next But when the morning had now come Jesus stood on the shore yet the disciples did not know that it was him Alikuja tu undercover alikuja undercover akawaangalia wameshinda baharini hawajashika samaki yeyote akasimama hapo then jesus said to them watoto watoi 
Before he left, they were his disciples. I want you to note this. He never used to call them children. Why he was called children is because he, they had left they had left what they were supposed to do. They had backslid. And kuna watoto wangapi hapa usinue mkono? Lakini unajua ni jia gani wewe mimi ninajua ni jia gani nimefanyika kuwa mtoto. Kwa hivyo wakati tumerundi the second edition of 2020 post corona ninajua utoto yangu imefika wapi na ninajua kuna kutakuwa na a lot of wisdom if i go to god and <laughs> nikumbali aniite mtoto sasa nimwambie nifanye mwana haleluya <laughs> nifanye mwana tena bwana <laughs> anyway So wakati alifanya hivyo uh, uh, endelea usikie they answered to him because aliwauliza mumepata chakula yoyote kwa sababu chakula hii ni ya watoto fish hii ni ya watoto after kukula sadaka ume kuna kitu kingine ume imekusaidia ume save hapana after kukula um, a tithe nini umeongezea mtoto Hakuna. <laughs> the answer I did know. And he said to them, "Okay. You are my children. Cast the net on the right side of the boat, and you will find some." So they cast, and now they were not able to draw it in. I want you to see the sensitivity of these disciples. Wakati walifanya hivyo, walifikiria usiku mzima atukushika. Huyu jamaa ametuambia this thing is familiar. What we have seen is familiar. Na wakamwambia next wakasema and is, uh, uh, therefore that disciple whom Jesus loved seen to Peter. That is John. Ukiona the disciple whom Jesus loved is akaambia Petero huyu ni Yesu. Kwa sababu tumeshika kwa nini? wakati corona imeisha umeongezewa mshahara umerudishwa kazi umerejeshwa kazini biashara imeanza kuingiza pesa tena hiyo die Yesu go back to the first love and now when Simon Peter heard that it was the lord he put on his outer garment or he had removed it akaanza sasa kujipondoa eh and plunged into the sea i tried to find out how why there is no explanation he plunged into the sea kwa sababu alijirusha kwa maji lakini it is not explained alijirusha afanye ni aogele ama ni frustration ama alikuwa anajificha whatever it is do not plunge yourself into the sea our god is a god of the second chance and that is what he told me next but the other disciples came in the little boat for they were not far from land but about 200 cubits dragging the net with fish uh, the, the last one then as soon as they had come to land they saw a fire of coal at there and jesus was there akichoma samaki na ninataka bila kusoma uh, uh, the, 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 uh, about four verses from there wakati huo ndio Yesu aliita Peter tena akamuuliza Petero unanipenda do you love me and this is what we need to ask ourselves after all the falls we might have fallen during that time do you love god and Jesus and Peter told him you know I love you. Does God know that even regardless of your fall kwamba unampenda? Tujiulize hivyo. Yesu anajua kwamba tunampenda hata ingawa tumeanguka. Na the tragedy tutakuwa nayo ni kwamba tukue Yesu ajui kama tunampenda mwanzoni hata wakati huo. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. The last thing 
So in that, uh, 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 the best thing is to admit, Peter admitted, he evaluated his heart, and he was able to face Jesus and tell him, you know very well, regardless of corona, you know God, I love you. Na huo unyenyekevu diye mungu anataka kukue nao katika mioyo yetu ili tuweze kupata wokovu. Praise God. The last one is in Matthew 26, 39. Here was the test of patience and vision. Matthew 26, 39. It's a very, these are very common verses. Um, Matthew 26, 39. Hiyo diyo ya mwisho ili tuweze kuomba. He went a little further and fell on his face and prayed, saying, Oh my father, if it is possible, let this cup pass from me. Nevertheless, not as I will, but as you will. Next. Then he came to the disciples. Note that, that is where my, my point is. Then he came to the disciples and found them sleeping and said to them, said to Peter actually, what could you not have watched me one hour? Aungeweza kuvumilia hii miezine? Aungeweza kuweka ushirika hii miezine tu? Hii tu ine? Ambayo corona ilikuwa. Aungeweza kuweka maombi hii mie, miezi ine ambayo mungu al, alitueka nyumbani. Huh? And uh, when I listened to that, I realized um, we, need, we need really to come back to God. And then, um, watch and pray lest you enter into temptation. Kwa hivyo, unless, in fact, most of the temptations that the church went through during this time is because they were not watching and praying. So what do we have to learn from here? There is a need to know next time. It is good to watch and pray. Because the patience that this, uh, our wanafunzi walikuwa hawana, ni kwa sababu iliwafanya wasiweze kuomba na wasiweze kukesha na kwa sababu ya hiyo majaribu yangewapata bwana yesu asifiwe so are there things that you know they actually overcame you during this situation both major and minor nonconformities when I say minor nonconformities, munaeza shanga kwa sababu, wakati tulikuwa tunaenda kazi, unamuka kila asubuhi unapiga muswaki, unavalia vizuri na unaenda kazini. Kuliona wakati kulianza hii mambo ya Zoom, watu tu anavalia tai na mtu anaenda anaketi. Na siku zingine akikosa, akisahau kuzima ile Zoom, e, munaona ina record. Sindio? <laughs> hmm? So, uh, nafikiri... Mungu anajaribu kutuambia hivi. He was not wrong in the first place. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. When God spoke to this church through our pastor and said this is the year of manifestation, hakufanya kosa lolote. In ukweli ulikuwa ni mwaka wa udhihirisho. Ukweli ni kwamba ule udhihirisho ulikuja na namna yake. Au kukuja vile tulikuwa tunatarajia. Unajua udhihirisho tulikuwa tunatarajia itakuja na muna hivi ikiwa si na gari nitanunua gari sijui nani alisema gari ni baraka lakini ni baraka Bwana Yesu asifiwe Utakuja na muna hivi nitanunua nyumba nitafanya hivi mshahara nitaongezewa alafu sasa badala ya kuongezewa ikakatwa zingine zikasimamishwa biashara zikafungwa ili uweze kudhihirika Swali langu siku ni jioni ama ni Mchana wa leo swali langu ni hili na dilo nilienda, nilianza kujiuliza nilijidhihirisha kama mkristo wa aina gani ni mambo gani 
ambayo niliacha ambayo Mungu alitarajia nifanye lakini si kufanya ni haya na haya na haya what is the way forward because i have to move i have to continue yearning lazima niendelee kutamani kuwa mtakatifu kutamani kuwa mkristo wa kweli na hayo ndio tumesoma mifano tatu na tukasema ni vizuri kwanza uh, uh, ku, kuweza kujua na ku, kuweza kuadmit that i fell number two, it is good to know that moyo wako uko namna gani na uulize Mungu ni kwa nini ili aweze kukuelekeza. Kuuliza Mungu pia ni kusoma neno na kuangalia ni nini ningefanya ili nisianguke ili uweze kukorekt in future. And then the last one is now uh, uh, for you to listen to God. Listen to God. Sikiliza Mungu ujue anasema nini and then have good plans. What are your thoughts? Na tukifanya hivyo because we usually say in auditing Excellence is about continual improvement. I don't know what how I can put that in Swahili. Lakini even in salvation, hata katika wokovu, excellence is a continual process. You continue to 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 to, to improve every other time so that you reach that perfection that God requires. And hivyo hivyo nilikuwa tulikuwa tunasema hata kwa ile wimbo tumeimba tukasema ninajua bila nguvu zako siwezi kwenda kwa sababu hii jang, ili janga la corona limetufunza nini kwamba isingekuwa ni neema za Mungu atungeweza kusimama Wakristo nataka kuambia ni neema ndio inatusimamisha without actually God's grace without the mercies of God we cannot stand some little things can make us fall ni wakati ni mara ngapi nilikuwa hata mimi nasimama hii naona yenyewe hii corona ni kama ni kama ina, ina, inaenda fenye inaenda na unaona mtu mwingine ako na ujinga ile ilikuwa inasemekana na na, na paulo ujinga ujinga magufuli ujinga na magufuli akasema hii ujinga <laughs> hii ujinga dio life kwa wale ambao wanaishi hii unjinga kumbe unjinga hii tunaita wokovu this foolishness is the one that we should have and is the faith that we should have to be sustained as christians tusimame sijui uh, kama nimeongea na wewe kama lakini mimi mungu ameniongelesha na ninajua kuna mambo ambayo mungu ataweka x katika maisha yangu katika ukristo wangu yale ambayo yameweza kudhihirika kwa miezi ambayo imepita ningetaka unjichunguze na uweze kuuliza Mungu ni kwa nini kwa nini nilianguka kwa nini si kuweza kufikia kiwango ambacho unastahili alafu tumwambie Mungu atusaidie siuinue mkono wako na uinue maombi mbele ya Mungu baba yako muumba wa mbingu na nchi ambaye anatuona ndani ya mioyo ambaye anajua our situations ask him for that grace to continue well for forgiveness kuweza kufanya nafsi yako ikuwe upya tena kwa ajili ya kazi yake kwa ajili ya sifa na utukufu wake kwa sababu neno la Mungu linatuambia yeye anaishi katika utakatifu na bila utakatifu hatutaweza kuona uso wake lakini tunahitaji Mungu inua sauti yako just for one 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 minute and make a prayer Lord I pray that this word rest in my heart rest in my life in Jesus name.
tuombe baba katika jina la Yesu Kristo mara tena tunanyenyekea mbele ya uso wako tunakutambua kwamba wewe ni Mungu katika maisha yetu tunakutambua kwamba hata wakati tulikuwa tunaanguka kwa mara tofauti wakati tulikuwa tunapitia um, katika janga la korona hata wakati huu ambao tunaendelea Mungu tunajua na tunakutambua kwamba wewe ni Mungu tunaomba Mungu katuwezeshe kurudisha ushirika kurudisha maombi kurudisha kukutumikia katika upendo ambao ulikuwa wa kwanza ni asante Mungu kwa sababu umetupatia nafasi ya pili ya kuweza hata kusikia neno lako umetupatia nafasi ya pili ya kuweza kukurejea Bwana Mungu ukatusamee dhambi zetu ukatusamee makosa yetu ukaweze Bwana kusafisha nafsi zetu ukazifanye upya tena ili tutakapoanza muhura mwingine na wewe tukakuwe ni watu tumekumbalika mbele ya macho yako sisi ni watoto wako baba na umesema katika neno lako kwamba uko na mawazo mazuri uko na mawazo mema juu ya maisha yetu hata wa leo tunaamini kwamba Mungu wetu uko na mawazo mema katika maisha yetu kama kanisa na kama watu binafsi tunajua baba bila neema yako tunajua baba bila huruma yako hatuwezi enda mahali tunajua baba bila nguvu zako hatuwezi enda mahali na tumetambua kwamba tunaishi kwa wokofu kwa sababu ya neema. Acha hiyo neema ikatutoshe, ikaweza kutosha hata mchungaji wetu Pastor Mutoa ikaweza kutosha mchungaji wetu Pastor Ndegwa ikaweza kutosha mchungaji wetu Fadhili na viongozi wote wa kanisa hili na washirika. Acha hiyo neema ikaweza kututosha sisi na familia zetu ili tukaweze kusimama ili siku za usoni tukaweze kusema tulikimbia mbio njema na tumeweza kushinda. Ni asante Mungu kwa sababu wewe ni Mungu wa huruma. Ni asante Mungu kwa sababu wewe unatupatia nafasi ya pili katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Tunaomba Mungu kaendelee kutuongelesha kwamba tutaweza kuendelea kusikia sauti yako ikiongea katika maisha yetu. Na ni katika jina la Yesu Kristo tunaomba na kuamini. Amina. Mungu awabariki sana na ikiwa uko hapo na uja wakoka ninataka kukuambia the second chance God gives to his children. The only way you can become a God's child. The only way you can become a son, a daughter of God is by receiving Jesus Christ. Ni kumpokea Yesu Kristo kama mwokozi wa maisha yangu yako. So ikiwa uko hapo na ujaokoka ni nafasi ya pili Mwenyezi Mungu anatupatia. Unaweza inua mkono na tuweze kuomba na wewe ombi hili ikiwa uko hapo na ikiwa unatutanzama kutoka um, katika mitandao weza kusema haya maombi nyuma yangu Bwana Yesu mimi ni mwenye dhambi Ninatambua kwamba wewe ni Mungu na Mungu mwenye huruma. Ninatambua kwamba fadhili zako zinatosha. Ninarejea na kukiri dhambi zangu ili Mungu ukaweze kuniokoa. Nikumbali niondolee dhambi na unifanye mtakatifu. Mimi ni mwana wako na ninakumbali kutembea katika njia zako kutoka leo hata milele katika jina la Yesu Kristo ninaomba na kuamini ikiwa umeomba ombi hilo tungeomba uweze ku, uh, kutu, kutuweza kutufikia kwa zile namba ambazo zinapatianwa hapo chini ya, ya video na tutaweza kukuelekeza kutoka mahali popote ulipo kwa hivyo uh, mubarikiwe sana i want to thank you for listening to this is a message that has touched me It is not easy to preach such a message especially wakati it also inakukata lakini neno la Mungu lina Biblia inasema neno la Mungu ni kama upanga unakata upande huu na upande ule mwingine kwa hivyo ningetaka Mungu awabariki sana 
kwa sababu ya kushiriki na tuendelee na, kumu, uh, na, na kumtafuta na kutafuta uso wake wakati huu. Kwa hivyo uh, uh, ibada ya pili nasema imeisha acha tumalize kwa kusema neema. Neema na upendo wa Mungu Baba na ushirika wa Roho Mtakatifu uwe nasi na hata milele. Amina.